What is happening everyone? Welcome back to another video in my channel. So today's video, I will cover the top five reasons why your Facebook ad account got disabled and how you can go ahead and fix it as easy and simple as possible. So without further ado, let's dive right into it. All right, so the first one and the most obvious is getting too many of your ads rejected. So essentially, you might submit multiple ads and there's a problem with your ad copy or ad creative. And Facebook rejects your ads and essentially, if you get too many ads rejected, there's a very high chance Facebook will go ahead and disable your ad account and even might get your personal profile permanently restricted. Luckily for you, I've created a free tool that you can go ahead and use to check your ads before you even submit them into Facebook. It's a Facebook ads compliance checker, which I trained with the most relevant Facebook ads policies. I have a full video about it where I share exactly how it works and how you can go ahead and access to it. So I will leave this link to this video over here. So essentially the solution is quite simple is you have to make sure you review your ads before you actually submit them into Facebook, especially if you are at high risk niches. In that case, your risk is much higher. And that means that it's much easier for people at high risk niches to get not only restricted or disabled, but getting permanently restricted and essentially not being able to use Facebook ads anymore. Now, the second thing, and it's probably the dumbest reason to actually get your ad account disabled, it's getting your payments failed. Now, there are some credit card companies that might make some problems, especially the beginning, because at the beginning, Facebook has this threshold of only $2 and they charge you every $2. So that means that you might have multiple transaction just in a single day. So some credit card companies will see that as an unusual or high risk activity. So they will block these payments until you will go ahead and call them and say, Hey, that's me. Go ahead and process these payments. And even after calling them, some companies are quite strict. So that might not be the best case. So maybe you can use something as PayPal instead of a credit card. But essentially you have to make sure that you have a solid credit card or a solid payment method that you know for a fact there won't be any failed payments because that's really unfortunate to lose your account for such a reason. The third reason of getting your ad account disabled is unusual activity. So you probably got this message from Facebook who detected an unusual activity in your ad account. So we went ahead and restricted and there's no clear rule what is unusual activity and most people don't really understand it. So essentially an unusual activity might be, let's say you use this ad account for a while and then you stop running ads for let's say two or three months and then you came back to Facebook and tried to run ads again and you jumped straight into conversion ads with a decent daily budget and boom, Facebook went ahead and restrict your account because they want to verify that it's not like a scam or someone got access to your ad account. So they would like maybe to verify your identity. Another unusual activity might be increasing your budget too fast. So let's say if normally you spend about 50 to hundred bucks per day, and then suddenly you put a thousand or $2,000 per day, that is also unusual. So all of your activities on Facebook needs to be graduate and you need to build them up slowly. Now, in case you just started running ads on your ad account or you got one disabled, then you started a new one, then make sure that you start with warm up campaigns, which are usually lower risk type of campaigns like engagement, traffic, video views, page likes. And if you will start running with these type of campaigns, the chance of this ad account getting disabled because of unusual activity is very low. And after a while of you running these type of campaigns, you'll build some history within this ads manager, and then you will be able to transition into conversion ads like sales or leads. All right, the fourth reason is people that have access to your ad account. So let's say you you hired someone to run ads for you, maybe a freelancer or an agency, and you gave them a full control access or even a partial access, but maybe you don't fully trust them or you don't know exactly what they are doing with their own profiles outside your ad account. And because they have access to your ad account, and let's say they do something shady with their own ad accounts and business manager, and Facebook decides that they violate their policies. And because they are linked to your ad account, this can get your ad account disabled as well. I would say that it's quite rare of this happening, but I would highly suggest you to make sure that you only give access to people you trust to your ad account. I can tell many of my clients still have other people with access to their assets inside their business manager, their ad account, although they are not working with this person or agency for quite a while. So make sure you go back to your business manager settings, to your ad account settings, and just make sure there is no one that shouldn't have access to it right now. All right, last and definitely not least is Facebook algorithms and bots. Now you need to understand that everything that is being reviewed on Facebook is not being done by humans. Everything is being done by algorithms and bots. Now for almost a decade, Facebook had these type of issues and they still do. And it doesn't seem that they actually able to fix these problems. So that means that even if you don't do anything wrong, just because their algorithms and bots are still not set up properly, then you can get disabled anyways. So you might have everything by the book, but just because there are problems with the bots and algorithms, they can disable your ad account without any reason. And unfortunately that's part of the game. I personally didn't met an advertiser 
that he's running Facebook ads for a while and didn't get his ad account disabled. So the sooner you're accepted, the better you will be because you will start thinking for solutions and how you can go ahead and get backups. And that takes me to the solution of this fifth reason, which is using external agency ad accounts. So essentially, for those that don't know what are agency ad accounts, there is a big agency somewhere in the world that is spending eight, nine, ten figures a year on Facebook ads, and they are like a class or top clients, and they get much different support and service from Facebook than me and you will get. So essentially, these agencies are sharing ad accounts to people like me and you that will be able to set up campaigns, run ads without the fear of getting restricted, disabled, and not having any consistency with our ads. So I've been working with agency ad accounts for a couple of years now, and I can tell you it's very, very different than using normal ad accounts. The consistency, the stability, and scalability is absolutely on a different level. And I also work with clients in very high risk niches, which was very difficult at the beginning to work with them with normal ad accounts. But as soon as we transitioned into agency ad accounts, this problem was almost 100% solved. Obviously, we'll still make sure that their ads are compliant and all the other things, but there are no sudden restrictions or you wake up one day and then you see your ad account disabled or all of your ad accounts disabled and there's no actual reason and you try to figure out like, what did I do wrong? Maybe because I logged in at night or maybe I logged it in the morning or maybe I typed in this or maybe I increased my budget too much. As I mentioned before, because those algorithms and bots are so bad, you always have the stress of maybe waking up tomorrow and seeing your ad account disabled. So with agency ad accounts, it's a smooth sale. Obviously, there's a cost to it, but I think it's really worth it. Facebook is still the number one platform for online advertisers, so it's always a love and hate relationship with them, but it is what it is and you have to play the game like they allow you. Now, in case you would like to work with my own agency, we have some available spots of sharing ad accounts from our own agency. So you can go ahead and book a one-on-one -on -one meeting with me in the first link in the description. I will explain exactly how everything works, the prices, and see if we can be a good fit. Now, besides that, I also have a free Facebook stealth guide. Essentially, if your personal profile got permanently restricted, there's no way for you to get this profile back and you have to go stealth mode. So in that guide, I explain all the tools, all the steps that I take to get back to Facebook because that happened to me back in 2019 and I'm still able to run ads till this day using this exact type of solution. I also have a video course of this stealth guide and for clients that want want me to go ahead and set up all of this for them, the profiles, the business manager, on the detect browser, proxies, and essentially backing up all of your assets. This is also an option and all of this can be found in the first link in the description. So hopefully you took some value out of this video. If you did, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Check out some other videos right over here. Thank you guys so much for watching and until the next one, peace.